What's up, guys? This is TJ Haransky, your Chicago correspondent for APTV. I am here with Mass Intruder at Atlas Studios in Chicago, Illinois. How's it going, guys? Oh, it's good. going good. Green. Yellow. It's going pretty good. Uh, tell us a little bit how the recording process is going for the new album and sort of how the uh, the new album is shaping up. Yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's going real good, I think. Uh, you know, we've got the most of the tracking done and uh and uh we're feeling pretty damn excited about uh, about all the every song on there i think you know it's it's shaping up to be really really cool i don't know you guys agree with that you know yeah, it's, it's, it's cool it's cool yeah it's pretty cool cool so this is your uh sophomore record off of fat rec records uh so tell us a little bit about um what kind of breed of love songs and crime songs are going to be on the sophomore album uh, and how they are, uh, uh, you know, different from the first album. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, I think that, uh, you know, people that, that, are, that are fans of the first record will find a lot of the stuff on the second record will make sense. It's sort of carrying in the same, you know, theme. Obviously, we're the same dudes, you know, we still write love songs because mostly because honestly, we just like, you know, like, like girls and stuff. And then, uh, you know, the crime songs is just about, you know, sort of like the sort of stuff that we actually deal with. I think that it's it's branching out and sort of more well-rounded, you know, uh, album, you know, no, like it's, instead of just, you know, like, uh, you know, 10 love songs, you know, it's like 11, you know. Plus, we got some new gear now. We boasted some new gear. Well, and by boasted, I mean it's ours now. So that's helpful. It was laying around on somebody's floor and they weren't using yeah, it. You gotta use that stuff, we're just putting it to good use, you know? So you guys were featured in our issue for Most Anticipated Music of 2014, uh, and in there you said you guys recorded a sad song. Um, did you guys cry at all when you were recording a sad song? I don't remember any crying during the actual recording process at this point. Except for that time that uh, Red came back into the studio and had, had been uh, hit with some pepper spray. But that was, uh, may, I don't think that was related to this. Yeah. That pepper spray, obviously, he was yeah, bummed out. It really make you real sad, you know. It's, 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 pepper spray is like nature's, you know, like uh, romantic comedy or something. It's like makes you cry every time, you know. Every time. Every time. Every time they hit me with that, I... I I just thought, Can't you know. Help it. Does it help having a mask when you get hit with pepper spray? You don't have as much, like, surface area. Yeah, it just kind of soaks in and uh, hurts a little more. Yeah, it retains it in there, and then, you know, like, it just makes it, like, forever. Yeah, like, prolonged. Like you can't take take the mask off, so what are you going to do? You got to just get, jump in the shower. I do think, I think that a ski mask w it helps with pepper spray, sort of like how a, uh, like having a big mustache and beard helps with, uh, you know, like uh, being in a pie-eating contest, you know? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, that's like a metaphor, you know? That's the kind of stuff that you get on our records, too. You know, there's a lot of metaphors and, like, th you know, po poetry and stuff. Yeah. I mean, we like pie, yeah. you know? It's good stuff. Yeah. What about pizza pie? This is the best kind of pie. I think is, you know, that's, to me, as far as I'm concerned, I think st the science has already established that fact, I believe. I think that was on an episode of Bill Nye the Science Guy, or the Science Pie. It could be. Science pie. That would be weird. A pizza, like a scientist that was a pizza, because you'd be like, do I trust like, him or do I eat him? I know. It'd be like Pizza the Hut from Spaceballs, but Bill Nye. Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, getting back to the album for a second, uh, do you guys have uh, like a working title yet? Aside from um, Bill Nye the Science Pie, that that's an option yeah, at this point. I'm I'm thinking, wow. yeah. Do you have uh, any other working titles so far? Uh, we, we, you know, we actually don't really have a working title. We, we didn't with the first one either. Um, you know, I, personally, I believe in, like, letting the music speak for itself sort of thing. And, like, uh, so we'll see, you know. Maybe do Bill Nye the Science Pie, you know. Pro probably not do that one. But uh, just because, you know, we might get sued by the actual Bill Nye the Science Pie. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a tough guy. You don't want to screw with him. That's for sure. No, no. Um, so uh, you guys are here at Alice I, I, again. I think you recorded the first album here as well. Uh, uh, what brought you guys here in the first place, and what made you decide to come back? 
Well, I think that the first thing that brought us to Atlas was uh, our relationship with Red Scare. You know, they had a relationship with uh, with Matt Allison and with, with Atlas. He'd done a lot of records for them. And, uh, you know, we were fans of records that uh, Matt Allison had done. So we were excited at the idea of coming to Atlas. And then, you know, once it worked out, we were stoked. And uh, even more so once we sort of started seeing the results and, and uh, the way that we worked together with M M Matt Allison was like a natural pair. You know, it was like... It was like, yeah, all right, you know, this is great. He's got a lot of, like, classic pop, like, influences, and, and so that was good for us to be able to, you know, work with somebody that, like, got the, the Beach Boys angle, got the, like, you know, the doo-wop angle and stuff, and, like, so we think that it, it was such a good relationship. We, we feel like we had to come back for the second one, too, you know? Yeah. So is there going to be, like, a serious doo-wop influence on the album, then, as a result of that? Yeah, there's there's definitely very serious classic pop influence on, uh, you know, I think on the first record, everybody would agree that it's, it's, it has a very strong classic pop influence. I think that on the second one, it's, uh, you know, in, in, in a sense, it's even more so. It's even more so classic pop influence, you know, not just doo-wop, but uh, just sort of like, I think that you it will remind you of like the 50s, 60s, 70s, even 80s sort of, you know. That, that's like a big span of uh, of decades there. That's yeah, that's, like wow. Yeah, that, that is four like total. Years or something, yeah. At least something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you guys have a goal for release date, and then do you guys have any uh, any tour plans in the near future? Yeah. Well, I could say I think all I could say about the release is because <clears throat> it hasn't been you know it hasn't been uh, announced or maybe even decided. So I don't know exactly what I could say, but I will say that it's definitely going to be this year. We'll be touring on it, you know, a, a lot, you know, just like we did with the first record because we like being out there playing the shows and stuff. So I think that uh, – I think that is – It'll definitely be songs. It'll definitely be music. Definitely, yeah, we plan on that, yeah. It's going to be mostly songs on there. Yeah, that's a good idea. And, and, and we just announced we're going to Australia. So oh, that's, that's coming up. Yeah, that's going to Unfortunately, the record may or may not actually be, you know, released at that time. I don't know, you know. Yeah. You need to confirm nor deny that allegedly it may or may not be released before that, you know, before or by that date in, f in perpetuity. So uh, I, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but we've been standing here and it's, it's absolutely freezing in Chicago. We're going through the second phase of a polar vortex. Vorte vortex is uh and you guys are already yeah. vortai We're, you guys are a step ahead of the game with your mass like do you i mean walking down the street do you just feel like way smarter than everybody else right now well i always feel that way so yeah you know the, the weather helps yeah. i don't think Wayne is really smarter than everybody else though like not you know like not everybody else like most like for example like average person well unless you make a sandwich yeah, green is a real yeah. good sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Artistry. He could yeah. work a subway if working wasn't for suckers, you know. Some well, I am TJ Haransky, your Chicago correspondent for APTV, here with Mass Intruder at Atlas Studios in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, their new album is going to be out this year sometime. It will have songs, and they will play those songs, uh, I think, also at some point. Yeah, sound good? All right, guys, Till next time, take care.